Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? Hope you are having an amazing day and not having to deal with drama. Ready for new stories I have for you today? Let's go to the first one. And don't forget to listen to the end of the story, guys, to hear my insights. Enjoy the stories. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. So I, 37 male, have a sister, 30 female. She's my parents' golden child. Growing up, she was extremely spoiled and blamed everyone else for her bad decisions. She has found herself homeless recently because instead of facing her husband when he found out she'd been having an affair with a married co-worker, who might be the baby's father, she ghosted him and showed up at my door 500 kilometers away. My wife, 36 female, was against the idea at first because there's bad blood between them. She announced her engagement at our wedding but changed her mind after my mom, brothers and sisters, begged her. I told her block them and I'd pay for a hotel for my sister because I know she's trouble and she'd cry on the phone to my mom the minute we didn't do something she didn't like. My wife told my sister if she put one foot out of line, she'd be gone. Things were okay for a few days, but then my sister started screaming and demanding our kids, four female, six male, seven male, around even went so far as to kick them out of the sitting room so she could lay on the sofa and watch TV. She doesn't clean up after herself, demands me to be her personal chef, driver, and even takes food off our plates. My wife just walks out to the back garden and smokes a cigarette, which she recently started doing again. It all came to a head last week when my wife drove my sister for her scam. She said instead of me cooking, she'd get the kids McDonald's for a one-off treat. A few hours later, my wife returns, shaking with rage. Obviously, my kids are confused. At this stage, my sister walks in with tears in her eyes, trying to make a beeline for the stairs. My wife says, no, you come back, look at those kids in the eyes, and tell them what you did. Don't even try with the crocodile tears with them. Tell them. My sister said among tears, the smell of the food put her cravings into overdrive, and while my sister was at the petrol station, she tasted their food. My wife then went crazy and said when she came out, she saw her digging into their food and mocked the situation. I told my wife and sister to calm down because the kids were crying, and we'd, wife, me, and kids, would go out to a restaurant and get food. I turned to my sister and told her I was disappointed in her and that she should apologize to my wife and kids. She told me my wife was stressing her out and expect the trouble, then went up to her room. We turned off our phones, had a nice meal, and the mood was better, till we turned on our phones to Facebook posts, voicemails, and texts that weren't any way nice. My wife busted out crying, saying she can't take her anymore, and she's sick of my family, that it's either them or her. So, obviously, I chose her. When we got home, my sister smugly came down the stairs and clearly noticed my wife had just been crying and asked her, did she have anything to say to her? My wife told her to get the duck out of our house, as predicted. My sister started crying, making excuses, blaming everything but herself. I told her I didn't want to hear it. I was calling her a taxi. She left. My family went nuts then blocked us on everything and disowned my kids. So, guys, tell me, what should I do from here? OP needs to stay the course. This is a pressure tactic. They are withdrawing their love to force OP into taking care of the problem they created. But they created this problem, not OP, so they can deal with it. They simply do not want to, and they are upset OP is not solving their problem anymore. OP needs to go 100% radio silent and let them come crawling back. Very simple. If OP breaks and chases them, they will always treat OP this way. OP needs to be a man. Be a good husband. I've been with my boyfriend for about two years. We met online, shocker, and he has always been kind and respectful towards me and everyone I've introduced him to. One of those people happens to be my older brother, whom I currently live with. My brother went through a messy divorce not too long ago, and he's now a single father of two children, both under the age of five. For that reason, and because he travels a lot for work, I moved in to help take care of my niece and nephew while he's on business trips and stuff. 
I work from home, so it's not a huge inconvenience for me. And I think he feels more comfortable leaving his kids with someone he trusts, as opposed to strangers in a daycare. I'm also saving up for my own place, so it's nice having a roof over my head free of charge. In that sense, the whole arrangement works well for everyone involved. Anyway, I've been living with them since February, and it's gone really well so far. The kids are great, and my brother is a lot happier now that he has help and time to breathe. The only real issue is my boyfriend. He's been quiet about it for a while, but he recently came out and said I never have time for him anymore. And honestly, he's kind of right. We rarely have alone time anymore, so I took the liberty of planning a little weekend trip for us. Nothing crazy expensive. We went, had a great time, everything was cool. But the moment we returned, he was back to the same dialogue. Why don't you leave them with your parents? Why doesn't your brother hire a nanny? Daycares really aren't that bad. Doesn't it bother you that you're always stuck with them? Etc. In a way, I understand his frustrations. We're both on the younger side, and I'm sure it kind of scares him to see me with two kids, constantly getting mistaken for their mother, etc. I've tried explaining that my living situation is only temporary, and for Duck's sake, it's barely been a few months since I moved in, so he has no reason to complain. This past weekend, I sat him down and explained that I'm happy doing this, that it's 100% for my niece and nephew's sake, and that I will move out when I feel the timing is right which it currently is not. Again, it hasn't been that long. I moved in in February, so... He listened to what I had to say, apologized for pressuring me, and then suggested we take some time to ourselves, to which I agreed. It's been a few days since we had that conversation. Since then, two of our mutual friends have contacted me with claims that he's been going around saying there's something fishy about mine and my brother's living situation. I was so naive, I had no idea what he was even trying to imply, but I took a moment and thought about it, and as soon as it clicked, I laughed out loud. It was kind of a psycho angry laugh, verging on projectile vomit, but a laugh nonetheless. To be honest, I didn't really believe it when the first friend told me, but then another one contacted me and confirmed it, so now I don't know what to do. I guess I should call him and address it? Edit. I'm just going to take a moment and state very clearly, there is absolutely nothing fishy going on between my brother and I. Like, not a single thing. If it helps at all, we're hardly even home at the same time. When he's here, I'm out, and when I'm here, he's out. It's never like a us and the kids thing. So I'm not even sure where my boyfriend was coming from when he said there's something fishy going on. He's never had a problem with my brother before. In fact, they got along great prior to this, but everything sort of went downhill after I moved in. I'm not really sure what to do. I'm pretty sure he was drunk, talking out of his butt when he said it, but drunk words are sober thoughts, right? I would hate to stay with a guy who thinks I'm romantically involved with my own brother, but I know I should probably talk to him before I do anything drastic. I told my best friend and she thinks I should break up with him. I can see why. I mean, not only was he accusing me of having a weird relationship with a family member, he was also doing it behind my back, in front of our friends, essentially trying to make me look bad, and he never once hinted at anything along those lines during our numerous conversations. I'm leaning towards breaking up with him, but I want to know what outside people think. What would you do? When I talk to him, what should I say? This whole situation is so gross and laughable. I can't decide which route to take. Have any of you had to deal with something even remotely close to this? If so, how did you handle it? To talk is always the best solution. So OP needs to tell her boyfriend everything she heard and everything she thinks about it. Me personally would leave him. As a person who thinks in such a way without having any evidence, definitely has something wrong in his mind. Update. Liam, boyfriend, came over last night and we had a talk. I asked him about the comments he's made against me. At first, he tried to play it off as a misunderstanding. I didn't believe a word of that, so he came right out and admitted that, yes, he's been going around saying there's something fishy between me and a family member. I asked why he would say those things, and he said that in his jealous, drunken mind, 
two straight, attractive adults of the opposite gender can't be in close proximity without being weird. Yeah, those were his exact words. He's an only child, by the way. Our conversation took an unexpected turn after that, where he admitted he's really insecure about his career. We work in the same field and I've accomplished certain things he hasn't. So he feels kind of inadequate in that sense. And whenever he compares himself to my brother, he feels even more inadequate. Just for clarification, my brother is the golden child, got straight A's in school, went to a good university, flew through law school, etc. I completely understand feeling less than. My parents still consider my gaming career a hobby at best. Honestly, I felt bad for Liam, and I still do. But the way he went about handling his insecurities, gross and uncalled for. There's no excuse for accusing your significant other of I. He apologized profusely and said he doesn't actually feel that way now. But I told him the damage is already done. I can't even fathom bringing him around family now that I know what he's secretly thinking. We broke up. I felt super guilty doing it after he spilled his guts out to me. But, of course, he went out and started spewing the same crap later that night. One of my friends called me and told me about it this morning. I'm currently sitting at home now alone. I want to cry, and my heart hurts so bad. Around a month ago, I finished the biggest exams of this year, which will dictate what university I go to. I worked my butt off for these, studying at the library for 10 hours every day for the last three months. When I finished, no one told me they were proud of me or even offered any kind of congratulations, which honestly left me feeling crappy, but I'm used to it by now. My sister is the golden child of the family. She sucks up to my mom to get what she wants and she invalidates constantly how I feel because she's never had to experience what I have. This week, she finished her end of year exams, which arguably aren't as important as mine. But my parents this morning got up super early, unusual, and when I asked them where they were going, they offered no explanation, or when pushed to, said food shopping. My mom, who is a narcissist, literally gloated in telling me they were going out to celebrate my sister's exams, which they don't even have the results for yet, and I wasn't even invited. I don't know if I'm being unreasonable. I know I'm jealous because I am. I want them to do things like this for me. I want to feel appreciated or even asked if I want to come. After figuring out what was really happening, I called my sister and asked where they were going. She said food shopping again, so I called her out on her lie and she just hung up on me. I called back again and said I wanted to speak to my dad and she said he doesn't want to talk to you and hung up again. I want to cry. My home life is so horrible and I can't take the obvious favoritism anymore. I didn't even get invited and they've gone behind my back and even lied to me. I don't know what to do anymore and I feel so broken and hurt. I think there is nothing OP can do to change this situation. It is horrible how they are treating her, and it's hard to understand how some parents can be so cruel. The only solution for OP is to move as soon as she turns 18. Edit. At the start of today, I was feeling defeated and depressed, but now my feelings about my family and this whole situation feel so validated. You've made me see how this isn't just a one-off event, and I do deserve better. Thank you for your congratulations on my exams. I got very teary reading those, and it's truly warmed my heart and made my day. I'll try to move out when I turn 18, but if that doesn't work out, I definitely will when I go to university. I can't be treated like this anymore when I deserve so much better. I just got a job around two weeks ago, and no mom is not happy. The irony is, what pushed me to get this job was her constant comments about how I was lazy, a slob who couldn't achieve anything, and how everyone else my age had a job. Then, I got the interview and she didn't even congratulate me, and was pissed she had to drive me there. She then said, I don't think you'll get it, and when I did, she said, I only got it because of my dad? Thanks, Mom. Today was my first shift, and it was honestly a big deal to me as this is my first job and I wanted to be on time and make a good impression. 
I've had this date for around two weeks now, and I've constantly reminded my parents about it, but then it gets to around 10 minutes before we need to leave. I call my no mom, no answer, even straight to voicemail, and I begin panicking. I text her a simple, where are you? No reply to that either. I call my dad who blows up on me, saying this is between me and her, and he doesn't know where she is. Then I hear it. My golden child sister is talking on the phone in the hallway to none other than my no mom. I ask her to ask my no mom where she is and when she'll be home because I don't want to be late and I begin stressing out. My golden child sister ignores me and hangs up. I call my no mom again and she answers and instantly sounds pissed off and annoyed. I ask her where she is as we need to leave soon to make it on time and she blows up saying she's going to the gym for a class and won't be back until 6. First shift started at 4.30. By this time, I am a crying mess and saying, what about my job? She says, it's all on me, and I didn't even tell her about this, and how was she supposed to know? I told her every day for the last two weeks. She then says, it's not her problem, and I'm an adult now and should have organized this myself. Not like she told me she would take me as we live in a super rural area to which my job is over an hour's walk away. She even told me to get the bus, which is a complete joke, as it only comes every hour, and telling me this was pointless 10 minutes before I had to leave, giving me no time or money to do this. Long story short, I call my dad in tears and he is forced to call me a taxi to get there. I arrive and have an amazing time and come home to a pissed no mom. I ignore everything she says to me about how was my first shift and crap like that, and she then calls me rude and obnoxious. Apparently, I need to pay her back for the taxi when I get paid, as it was preventable and completely my fault. I know this is only the beginning of her sabotaging me and my job, but I don't get why. My friend said it's because she doesn't like that I'm branching out and supporting myself, but I just don't know. For so long she wanted me to get a job, and now that I did, it's almost like her opinion has switched. It hurts my head, and I'm honestly confused and at a loss of what to do. OP hasn't done anything wrong. She doesn't want OP to succeed, because that would make her view of OP incorrect. As the scapegoat, OP's job is to be a failure. So, of course she's going to sabotage OP. If she insults OP for something like being lazy and needing to get a job, and she gets a job, she now has no more ammunition and must find another way to hurt OP. This is called narcissistic supply. OP needs to do her best to become as independent from her as OP can. Although, I know this may take years, and there is only so much OP can do while living with her and being at her mercy. But if OP can, she needs to start becoming aware of how the supply and demand works with her. What does she say or do to hurt OP? How does OP react to it, etc.? OP needs to get to know herself better, so she doesn't have to be her punching bag anymore. Job is great, equals more independence and time away from home.